<laughs> Welcome back to the No Cut Sports Podcast with your host, Niall Frazier. And today, we have a lot of information to go through, get through, however you want to put it. But the first thing we are going to start off with, and as I already know, breaking news, Saquon Barkley is a Philadelphia Eagle. What? <laughs> what? Like, listen, man, I'm excited now. I ain't going to lie to y'all, right? First 15 minutes of free agency yesterday. Started at 12 o'clock. I was up. So I, I just wanted to make sure that I wasn't missing anything. Um, you know, a lot of information. I didn't, and I thought it was going to be a lot of different moves, which it was, you know, but Eagles took their time. But the first 15 minutes of free agency, what do we get? DeAndre Swift to the Chicago Bears. I'm sitting there looking. I'm like, what? Like, what happened? Like, I thought, you know what I mean? And I had said this in a previous video that when we had to, had acquired DeAndre Swift last year during the draft, well, not during the draft, but it happened, the trade happened during the draft, right? There was talks about him possibly getting an extension. Now, like I said, never heard no more about them talks. But what has come out, I guess, I mean, rumor would come out, whatever you want to call it. But, uh, that I guess the Eagles didn't make him an offer. I don't know how much it was. I think it was around the realm of like five to eight million. Don't quote me on that. But um, he ended up getting that twenty. Well, it can't be eight million, but it's probably. I think it was like around five to six million, whatever the case may be. He ended up getting uh, like three years, twenty-four mil from uh, the Chicago Bears. Now, um, with the Chicago Bears, I don't know how that's going to work because, like DeAndre Swift, in all due respect, I know why DeAndre Swift took the money because. You know, when he was playing with Detroit, you know, getting injured and stuff like that, couldn't stay consistent because the best <laughs> the best ability is availability. You feel what I'm saying? So if you can't play, it doesn't matter how much talent you have. If you can't get on the field and play and, and, and showcase that talent, you know, in and out like Christian McCaffrey is with the, with the 49ers or like he did with the uh, Philadelphia Eagles this year, you can't get – you can't demand that kind of money. So he had his best season with us, all due respect, you know what I mean? Best season with us, and um, you know, you ain't got his bag, so um, you know, you're gonna be there for three years, whatever the case may be. And I heard something, but yeah, but uh, yeah, three uh, uh, he got three years, whatever the case may be, but yeah, so we'll see, we'll, we'll see what, what happens with him and, and what they do in the draft. I don't know if they're getting Caleb Williams or or who else, whoever because they're talking about trading uh, Justin Fields, which leads me into my next point. Um, Eagles, it was rumored. You know, I don't. Everything's just going to be. You know what I mean. And the Eagles get linked to a lot of stuff, but it's just rumored that uh, maybe Fields comes to you know backs up Jalen Hurts. I don't know. Maybe helps increase his value. He can go on to another team maybe a year or two after that. Who knows? But um, I'm not really interested in that right now. Um, so let me get into the rest of these points so I can tell you. You know, catch y'all up to date if y'all ain't already up to date. But acquired Saquon Barkley. You know, um, gave him what he wanted. And then this is like crazy because, and I thought I thought Saquon, Saquon was crazy for the simple fact that I can't remember the last time with Lashawn McCoy that we signed a like multi-year running back. And then, um, you know, we all got our concerns, or at least I had my concerns about, uh, you know, um, like I said, the best ability is availability. And you know, playing for the Giants, he was usually hurt. You know, ACL, he come back, he come back, but have a crazy, you know, he has a crazy year, and that's not usually something that you see. Um, and plus, the technology is better now with, um, you know, repairing and, and, and taking care of those types of injuries and things like that. But uh, I will say that our O-line, you know, I don't think he, he's not – he hasn't played with, like, talent, talent. So, you know what I mean? All due respect, you know, they, the Giants rather had paid Daniel Jones last year, and I even had said that was going to be a stupid move because my thing is this. I don't know – where, what you see in Daniel Jones, all due respect. Like, I don't know what they saw to pay him that kind of money. And it's like, like, like what Baker Mayfield got three years, what was it three years, a hundred million? You know what I'm saying? I'd be, that's the type of deal, that's the type of deal I'd be, you know what I mean? Something like, you got to put these players in tears and stuff like that. But it's like, it's, is someone out there? My fault, y'all. But, yeah, you got to put these players in different tiers because you got players out here that ain't even doing what they need to be doing and getting crazy contracts, and then it doesn't pan out like a Daniel Jones. So, 
which you know leads you to having the you know then once you couldn't pay Saquon Barkley, so he ended up coming to the to the home team, and um I think he can stay healthy, or if he does stay healthy, God willing, God who God willing he can stay healthy. But if he can stay healthy, that offense is bananas. And then we just signed Devontae. It was it Devontae Parker from the Patriots, whatever the case may be? So we got, you know what I'm saying? And he's, and he's a decent he's a decent uh, for a wide receiver three if they use him, you know, in that position. Maybe they make some different moves in the drafts. I don't know yet. But, um, you know, there's speculation about uh, Xavier Worthy or uh, what's the other guy named Big Bull. Not, not, not the other one. I think he played for Texas as well. But, um, you know. So they, they might do something like that. Um, but let me get y'all up to date with, you know, more of this information that, uh, you know, that, you know, that <laughs> ski mask how we done pulled off. So we also acquired Bryce Huff. All right. Now, there was already a little bit of talks days before a uh, free agency that um, the Eagles were looking to acquire Bryce Huff. Um, at the same time, Patrick Queen was floating around too. Brian Burns uh, last year around the trade deadline. Um, I'm trying to think who else. Who else was it that they were? I don't think there's anybody that I'm missing, but if it is, you know, it is what it is. But so we never heard no more about Patrick Queen, right? And then Bryce Huff comes on the radar and people start speaking, you know, rumors come out. Uh, I guess Lombardi, he does a little podcast for the, well, I won't say little, but he does a podcast for uh, the Jets and stuff like that. And um, I guess he had leaked that information and then they ended up signing him. So, um, yeah, man, that's it's it's crazy because I watch some of his, you know, they post the highlights when you when you when you acquire the player, and I'm like, oh my god, and he was an undrafted player, so he's playing he's playing with that dog in him, man. He's playing. That's what it, that's exactly what it looks like. He looked like he was playing with some dog in him, because you got to prove yourself. You know what I mean? So if we can get that. Um, well, we did get that, but we, well, what I'm saying, we if we can get that, you know, keep that dog, you know what I'm saying, and get that with the rest of the line. Man, I'm trying to tell y'all, we can run that Super Bowl back, man. I'm trying to tell y'all. So, offensive-wise. Now, I'm trying to think of who else did we, if I'm, if I'm missing anything. Landon Dickerson was extended. Needed that. Now, the whole thing is, and I also didn't, I, and I don't know what they're going to do, but with Smitty, right? I, they didn't extend Smitty. And I'm, and I'm not sitting there saying they can't, it's so possibly it can't happen, don't get me wrong. But I was thinking, like, maybe that would be a more of a, more of a priority, but I also got to remember that Hassan Reddit contract, and then you get this information come out about them wanting to uh, trade uh, Sweat. So I don't know, man. It's it's, it's a lot going on because Bryce Huff plays on the same side as uh, excuse me as uh, Hassan Reddit. Um, and then the more information that came out that you know it was more of a like they didn't do what they were asking them to do. Um, so I guess I don't know, man. They're not playing, man. It's like, not, and that's why I said with the Vic Fangio situation, when players were coming, I'm talking about Vic is this type of, you know, he's a, you know, he can be a hard ass, you know what I mean? But all due respect, you need discipline. If you want to win Super Bowls or you want to consistently win, when you when they sit here and talk about Jalen Hurts, like leadership, he don't really got to talk. He show it. I'm in the gym every day. I'm doing what I need to do to get better. I'm getting bigger. Whatever the case may be, pause. You know what I'm saying? That's what we need, bro. Because that's how you win consistent championships, man. You gotta keep, you gotta keep the fire going. I seen a clip with like Jason Kelsey talking about. I guess he, I forget who the, uh, I don't know if it was a corner or something like that, but a little clip that came out uh, beginning of the season where he's out here explaining, you know, the, the little minor details that, that that set different, that you know what I mean, that set that that can set you apart from being a great player. So it's like. That's what we need on the Eagles. That's why we went out, got the different experienced coaches and stuff like that, um, to bring that, bring those years of experience together, uh, you know, cumulatively to, to to be able to provide this information to these players, you know, especially these young players, because you can see that Howie, you know, probably one of the reasons why he don't want to give Reddick all that money is because he's getting to be an older player. They're trying to migrate the, you know, the the, the younger players, and you know, you got your Nolan Smiths, you know, you got a lot of players that. Like, like I said, Nolan Smith didn't even really get too many snaps toward the end of the year. You know what I mean? With a lot of weird stuff going on because we had, you know, uh, different coordinators, uh, new coordinators, unexperienced coordinators. They didn't really know what they're doing. And all due respect, Nick Sirianni, it looked like it was some inexperience on his uh, behalf too, which is all, you know, now that we can look back on it, all good and dandy now. But you see they bring in Kellen Moore with some experience. You see they bring in Vic Fangio for the experience. But now you got Vic Fangio coming in, and then he has his own scheme. Same thing with Kellen Moore has his own scheme, so they need certain things. 
Now, when they started talking about Patrick Queen and we heard no more about it, that's probably why. Because Vic probably doesn't see him as being one of those, you know, why go out and go pay him all that money when I can go get two, three different players to go play in this position or spread that money around, you know, to fill whatever the case may be, right? So, it's, it's so far so good. I will say, man, for what Howie uh, has been able to pull off because Bryce Huff is like the third, like, he's the third rated uh he has like the third rushing, uh, best passing rush rate, something like that, whatever the case may be. And that's just behind Michael Parsons and then Miles Garrett. So, you know, we go on and Vic Fangio can get that pressure with that defense. Like I said, do I personally like the defense? Nah, but that's the defense that took us to the Super Bowl. So, and when we had that crazy season, so, or the Super Bowl season. So, um, yeah, man. And I, and, and, and it's crazy to say because it's like, if you really look around the NFL, a lot of teams, and I'm I'm sorry, a lot of teams ain't really like at least during free agency, ain't really done made no moves. I'm looking at the Bills, they're losing. I mean, they they signed some players, but then they lost a uh, 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 Gabe Davis to the Jaguars. Now I don't know where Calvin Ridley's going on at this moment in time as I'm recording this video. I don't know if he's you know maybe going to a different team or whatnot, but I know he's a free agent if I'm not mistaken. Uh, but it's like a lot of different teams, the Cincinnati Bengals, a lot of different teams, man, a lot of different teams losing players. What you call one of uh, Higgins? Was it Higgins wanted to trade or uh, yeah, I think it was Higgins. Whatever the case may be, but one of them wanted to trade, whatever the case may be, and uh, you know, some other ones are free agents. So it's like, and then Joe Burrow's always hurt again. So it's like teams are starting to fall apart. Dallas Cowboys. I see Dallas, and there's no, you know, I know we're rivals and stuff like that, but I see them going, they're going through it. They have no salary cap space. That's why you really got to appreciate Howie Roseman because he know how to move the money around. You know what I'm saying? You got to know how to move the money around. Now, you now if you're a Dallas Cowboy, you got to think, that's up for a contract extension, whatever the case may be, which is supposed to be around like 60 mil. So you pay him 60 mil where where the rest of this <laughs> what else you gonna do where the money coming from you feel what i'm saying you know it's, it's a salary cap for a reason and um clearly they don't know how to work them numbers down there so uh you know but i will say i will say this it's some it's some teams like the lines are getting stronger um texas for sure getting stronger aaron jones got released no, and it was it was so crazy to see so many like veteran players and aaron jones just snapped in the playoffs so he going to the Vikings, so he coming over to a rival, but then you get Kirk Cousins going down to the Falcons. So it's a lot of different moves going on, but let's keep it, let's keep it, you know, with the Eagles, right? So getting in, I said we we rehab, you know, signed uh Landon Dickerson to his four year uh I think it was a four year contract. They asked him what he was gonna do with the money. He really didn't know, man. He just said, I'm gonna give me a zero term uh, uh mower, and I don't blame him because I wish I had me a couple acres of land. Kind of got me a zero turn too. So shout out to Landon Dickerson for securing the bag. Um, but I do hope we do take care of Smitty, man, because we need we need it, man. I'm trying to tell you, like, I don't know what AJ's gonna do after I think after this season, this upcoming season. Um, but it's Devontae there, man, so maybe he wants to get, you know, maybe hold out for more money. I don't know, because uh he's definitely worth it. And I really don't want to see him go to another, you know, another team and, you know, snap. But it is what it is, man. But I really do, would like to get that done, man, all due respect, like, if how we can make that happen. But let's keep it moving, man. Let's talk about, um, let's see, make sure I ain't missing nothing here. Uh, let's t t with the Cowboys, right? So, and people are like, why are you talking about the Cowboys? Because y'all talking about us. At least, at least, at least the brother, the, the brother y'all quarterback worried about us. Why did Tad? Why did Tad Prescott come out and say that the Eagles have the best, <laughs> the best front office? Why would the Why would the number one rival of our team come? His brother come out and say that. Now you already know that somebody what was it? CD Lamb's uh, mom or grandma? Somebody on Facebook was 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 mad at uh, was mad at Dak for for the, this playoff loss and whatever the case may be, man. But. It's a lot going on in, in, in Dallas. And I really, I don't know who their running back's going to be because Tony Pollard just signed with the, was it the Texans or Tennessee, whoever, whatever the case may be. He's not with Dallas no more, right? Um, I see some of the players are, not the players, but some of the fans are in shambles. You know, some of my friends, they, they're on Facebook going crazy. I understand because I remember back in the day, 02, 03, 04, 
I remember. <laughs> oh boy, I mean, we were still good teams, but it, not. You can't even say oh four now. Excuse me. Back when they had when they got. Bro, who was it? Was it Sam Bradford? Come on, y'all remember them days, Sam Bradford? <laughs> All due respect, but like, yeah, come on, man. Like, so every, every team go through they they do their good times and their bad times. So I think hopefully, pray to God, like these next three years, bro, we get at least one Super Bowl, two Super Bowls, maybe with the team, especially the offense we got. But the defense is pretty much, you know, more that we really need to be concentrating on now because. Um, I still think we need another linebacker. They also signed somebody, uh, God, I can't remember my man's name, but I think he played for New Orleans. He's not like no high class, I don't want to say no disrespect to him, but I don't want to say like a top tier player, but for for the position that he played, he is really good, you know, covering and, uh, doing, you know, just doing what needs to be done in the big Fangio uh, defense. So, um, with that being said, I still think that they need, there were talks about maybe Justin Simmons coming um, for safety. Talks about C maybe a reunion with C.J. Garner. Uh, you know, we had the little dispute. But, you know, people have disputes. But if you're grown, you should be able to, you know, work out your differences and stuff like that. And, you know, go out there and do what you did for us for, the, you know, 2022. You know what I mean? Go take us to the Super Bowl with your play, you know. Let the let the let the let the let the play let the play speak for itself. Like y'all shouldn't have, you know, let me go in the first place. And they shouldn't have. They really never should have. And as you've seen, like no 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 disrespect, but Bradbury was getting cooked all year, bro. Uh, he had his he had his bright moments. Don't get me wrong, but all year. And it's like people are talking about. And I said this like I don't know if they're gonna be able to move that money. Like I don't know if they're gonna be able to move his contract this year. So people talking about extending them and then cutting them. You can say whatever, but I don't know if they're gonna do that. So. Um, we might just have to bite that bullet, um, pause, and just keep it moving, man. But we have to really start getting the younger players, like especially this draft and players from the last draft, acclimated with what is going on with the Philadelphia Eagles, what they expect, how they need to be, what kind of conditioning they got. Because Jordan Davis, for him to be in year two, you know, still having, you know, the weight, the weight gain up and down, you really got to get it in, you know, you got to get that in shape, you know what I'm saying? So. Um, cause he has the potential, man. But I think a lot of things are changing with the culture, with the philosophy, because we all seen last year was not Super Bowl winning. That was not Super Bowl winning football at all. I don't care what nobody says. And AJ said it too. And I said it plenty of times. There's no way you can think you're going to go like play, play, flip, play football like that and go win a Super Bowl. There's no way, bro. So it is what it is, man. But, um, I think we, like I said, as as I'm recording this video, I have not seen any new information about nobody getting some. Let me make sure, cause uh, let me see. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Go back. Yeah, I have seen no information about nobody getting some. And people keep talking about corner. I'm like, bro, y'all got it. We corner, corner, cool, bro. We we can't get no more, no more death at corner, bro. Isaiah Rogers. Eli Ricks, you know what I'm saying? We got plenty of corners. You still got James Bradbury and you got a uh, uh, Darius Slay. You know what I mean? Now, if they go get the corner, my my, my, my young boy from uh, uh, Toledo, they go get him. <laughs> I'm cool with that corner, but we don't need to go trade for no corners. We need safety and death at safety. I think McPherson, is McPherson coming? Let me see something. McPherson. Just what's my name on. Is he still on here? If I'm not mistaken, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think he's still on the team. So we got plenty of death at corner, okay? We need, like, more of a hybrid. If you're going to go get a corner, get a hybrid corner that can play safety in corner or something like that. Um, I seen that, uh, what's my man name that they just had let go? But, uh, God. Turf toe. What's my man name? I can't even think of my man name. Maddox. I seen he had, what was it, the Saints or something like that? He had a, he got a, a meeting with them, so. Hopefully it worked out for him, man. It's, it's messed up, but couldn't work out for us. But like I said, the best ability is availability, and he couldn't stay healthy. So, um, you know, we need you out there on the field to play that, you know, play your position and play your role. Um, the Eagles also uh, got a uh, Matt Hennessy, um, offensive lineman. So they building, you're building on that line as 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 always. You know, that's always coming. So, um, pause. But uh, yeah, man, I'm trying to think, make sure I ain't missing nothing else. Um, but yeah, with the with the sign of the with the sign of the I won't say this with the sign of the Saquon, I do expect us to. Uh, I expect the Super Bowl, bro. I expect. I think Howie is, uh, you know, Jeffrey Lurie's giving Howie, you know, or and whoever else, whatever they like, go get whatever y'all need. 
to get us back to that Super Bowl. You feel what I'm saying? Jeffrey Larry, you know, he's an older man. He probably would like to see another one, two, three Super Bowls, as many as you can see, because Kansas City is doing, like Patrick Mahomes to Kansas City and Andy Reid, it's crazy because it's Andy Reid are, are doing this with, with less talent. You feel what I'm saying? Winning Super Bowls, going back to Super Bowls. They're finding a way to win. So, like, I, like, 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 it don't really matter, you know what I mean, like how much talent you got because clearly as we've seen with our team, down a down drain, and then I also say this about Kyle Shanahan, no disrespect to him, but every big game he's a part of, they lose every time. So it's like, what can you, like, like talent, talent only going to get you so far. You still got to be able to know how to coach. And Andy Reid is, Andy Reid is a good coach. So um, with Nick Sirianni, I would like to think, you know, like I don't like I'm not trying to be disrespectful with saying this, but like I don't know exactly what he's gonna do. It's gonna be more or less a Kellen Moore and Vic Fangio show. Um, but I do expect Kellen Moore to take this offense to a whole nother level. I don't I like like I'm not trying like I'm, I'm really trying to be nice when I say this, but I don't expect nothing less than twenty seven point seven points per game, okay? I'm trying to be nice even saying that number. It should be thirty. Easy average thirty points, but I'm going to be nice because this is his first year. Don't you know, let him get acclimated. Make sure he knows what he's doing. But he got every, at almost every offensive position. And it's, and it's some death at some of these positions, like tight end, because all due respect, I like Dallas. But if they can run these two tight end sets for Saquon, bro, you talking, bro, you talking about. Don't forget, who cared about the three yards he was averaging last year? Saquon won't average at least 10 easy, bro. I'm telling y'all, if he can stay healthy, that, bro, it, 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 bananas. That's all I'm going to say. I'm going to keep it cool. I'm going to keep it cool. Like, shout out to DeAndre Swift because I would have loved to have him still on the team, too, running, you know, him in t crazy. So, and we still need that they running back as well because I see there's interest in Boston Scott from the Giants. So, if they end up getting him. I mean, I mean, we got Gamewell, and I don't know who. Maybe some other practice squad. I don't know if they got you know somebody there, but I'm just excited, man. I will say that I'm excited. Baseball, you know, I've been watching my baseball, so you know, you know, we gotta get them together too. We're not gonna get too crazy with the Phillies right quick, but we gotta get them together too when we come this season. But uh, yeah, man, it's a lot. It's a, equals got bro. Howie is a is a is a. Bro, highway robbery sometimes because it's like I don't understand. Like I don't under I do understand, but it's like he keep doing it. Like it just it just keeps happening year after year. It just keeps happening. Now I know he probably gonna do these one year deals. He probably done got his you know his big plays out the way. But I still think it's one more crazy trade that we not thinking about. We ain't heard about. You know what I'm saying? Because they do their due diligence, making sure that they you know you know. And make sure we're not missing, you know, something where we can get a deal. How we like, like I said, he likes to he likes to get deals for players. So, you know what I mean. So we'll see what we'll we'll see what more comes, and I, I'll make a video to keep y'all updated. But uh, like I said, I always appreciate y'all watching the videos, and if you could please like and subscribe to always catch this vibe. I'ma holler at y'all. It's now from the No Cut Sports Podcast. Yes, sir.